I'm Bruno Carlin, CTO and co-founder of Roi. So we are one of the latest members of uh, OW2. I think maybe the latest. Uh, we actually received a notification two or three days ago that uh, we were accepted in uh, OW2 code base. So I've been invited to talk to you about uh, who we are, what we do to, to introduce us to you. So first thing first, who are we? So we are a software editor specialized in uh, MFT, in monitored file transfer. Uh, emphasis here on software editor. Uh, I'll talk uh, about MFT later. Uh, we're primarily a software editor. We are doing integration, but it's just a mean to an end for now. Uh, we really want to focus on uh, editing the best software possible for uh, all of our users. Uh, so a little bit of history now. Uh, our software was first created in 2007. Uh, we were at the time at the Ministry of Treasury in France. Uh, they had uh, quite a big project of uh, digital archiving and wanted to transfer a lot of files at a very high frequency. And they couldn't find any software on the market that could fulfill this requirement. Uh, all were showing signs of weakness and they couldn't agree on one. So the Ministry of Treasury decided to sponsor an internal development uh, and to release it as, a, as open source software. First, they worked on a, on a protocol. Uh, we named it R66, for root 66 that was designed specifically to answer uh, every need a company can have for uh, file transfer and to monitor them, to be sure they are safe, they arrive at the destination, and, uh, and that all is good. Uh, I talked about that a little later. Uh, so that was 2007. Then the software fell a little uh, in oblivion. We were all busy in uh, other companies. We couldn't live on, live on that. Uh, in 2011, our software resurfaced. The Gendarmerie Nationale decided to use it also coincidentally in a digital archiving project. But they had another way of seeing things. They wanted us to build a company to provide uh, professional services, support, maintenance, and to make sure that uh, the software is maintained. And the creation of the, of the company, we were born. But we were still uh, all working uh, in different companies. In 2014, we received a lot of, of demand from, uh, from prospects. Uh, more and more email, telephone, uh, companies were interested. We decided there to, to work full time on this project. We really started to develop it, to organize it, to organize the documentation, our website, to do a little more communication. Things started off gently, and uh, here we are in now. We just joined uh, OW2. We are a small team yet, six, five, six people, but uh, we are looking uh, looking to recruit uh, a lot, of, a, lot. <laughs> a few more uh, developers to to reinforce our team. Because the last thing about us, we are uh, foremost uh, an open tech company. 80% uh, of uh, our revenue is spent in R&D. We don't want to become a purely commercial uh, company. We don't want an army of, self of salesperson, uh, all of our customers and, uh, and users are already harassed by a uh, salesperson from uh, Oracle, IBM. Uh, 
we don't want that. We want uh, another kind of relationship with our uh, user and our customers. Open source is great. We have a direct connection with all of users via the bug, through the, our bug tracking, through the code repository, through emails. We want the same personalized relationship with our customers. Stop about us. Now, what do we do? We do monitored file transfer. I'd say we are editing the only open source MFT platform. Uh, as far as I know, there is no complete, full enterprise ready other solution uh, on the market, open source solution on the market. So what is MFT? MFT is before all file transfer. File transfer is simple. It's taking a file on server A and putting it on server B. The uh, enterprise don't see it that way. They have a lot more requirements. Here they see uh, documents, purchase order, invoices, uh, payment order, uh, production plan for factories, really critical documents generated by an application and that must be processed by another application on another server, maybe on another data center in another country and they are higher standards. What are these standards? They want guarantee of delivery. When the a file is sent, it must arrive. If there is an error, uh, it must be restarted automatically or manually, and preferably not from the start of a file. Uh, when they send a file that weighs uh, tens of gigabytes, it's a waste of bandwidth. They want a guarantee of traceability. They want to know where everything is. Uh, they can't trust a purchase order. They can't trust a payment. They want the answer at any time to the question, where is my file? Is it arrived? Is it not? Why? They want a guarantee of integrity. When a file is sent, it must arrive, but it must arrive complete and it must not be corrupted. We have a lot of checks for that. They want the transfer solution to be integrable in the system. Uh, it's about two applications communicating. An application produces a file, this, that, uh, that, Sorry, that file must be processed, it's sent, it must then again be processed. Uh, basic processing are a BCD ASCII uh, transcoding. We do the, and it must be done via, via REST, uh, using REST API, using CLI API, using uh, RPC, etc. They have very high requirements of security. Files must be encrypted, connections must be encrypted, every transfer must be authorized. That's, that's one of the main points we have to discuss with our customers. And there is a requirement of performance. Uh, some send uh, several files every second. A solution, an MFT solution, must uh, handle a very high number of files, a very high number of heavy files sent at a very high frequency. So how do we uh, respond to that need? We have first developed an, uh, a protocol, R66, which has been designed to be efficient, to be secure, and is file transfer oriented. There are others, FTP, at some point HTTP, SFTP. All need, all me, uh, miss one major thing. They are not easily integrable 
into enterprise process. Here we include pre-transfer and post-transfer processing chain of the file in the transfer uh, transaction. If one of the processing fails, the, the whole transfer is marked in error. Then it can be restarted, Proce processing can, uh, can be started again, and all is fine uh, eventually. To operate the transfer, we have a uh, Warp R66, uh, a monitor that sends and receives files. It can be uh, a client or a server and provide all the guarantees uh, I just mentioned. Okay, I speed up. Uh, okay, we have an FTP gateway to uh, integrate with uh, other protocols and uh, especially under uh, transfers with uh, external partner, third party companies. And uh, our latest uh, application, Warp Manager, is a central administration and monitoring uh, interface to uh, orchestrate and uh, administrate all the transfer infrastructure of the company. Here we're talking about of, uh, generally uh, hundreds of, uh, of agents uh, work as a in, a, in, an uh, uh, in an organization. But that's not enough. The market is dominated by uh, proprietary uh, solutions, always the same. So we need to go to, uh, to, to cover a larger perimeter to really uh, answer one need, uh, manage all the transfer of the companies, and maybe go uh, in the future towards uh, data transfer, uh, since uh, everybody is going to uh, pure data communication with API, MQ, ESB, etc. And that's it. And I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I've been a little long. <laughs>